Okay, they're all going to be white checks. Okay, we have to do have it like this so it'll actually show up as more than just a white check. So we'll actually get the little ore icon. Uh, and let's fly around the moon a little bit. We have three hours of fuel at this rate. Our oxygen bottle is still pretty well off, so I think we'll be good for a while. Now let's just see if we can find ourselves some ore. Now I'm going to start flying... I'm thinking I'll fly higher, because if it is at all like other planets, the main idea here is that going is that once we're high enough up, we'll be able to see darker splotches on the ground. In fact, I'd even bet money that that might be one right there. So we're going to fly over to it, and if we don't see that, then we're definitely flying way high up and just going to start buzzing away and try to find ourselves once again some uranium. And I think I've got myself turned around, but I think it was down in this splotch right here. I don't know why I maneuvered up like this. I could have just stayed level. Gotta watch our speed, too. A little difficult to look so far away from the center point of your screen when you're watching your speed, but it does make sense at the same time to have uh, all your information in one little spot over there. Now let's fly ourselves down. Uh, oh, right, I forgot. Drones don't have an altimeter, so you can't tell. Is it an altimeter? Your height. I think it's your altimeter. You can't actually tell your height in a number. Ah, silicon! It's the same silicon we've seen before. God dang it. I saw it on the edge of the screen and got all excited like. Um, nothing, nothing at all. Well, I'm actually going to go ahead and select the iron virus, select its antenna. Uh, select all their antennas for now actually and just turn them off. That way, um, they're not going to just clutter up our screen anymore. We'll just have the sterilith marker, but we'll still be able to keep our HUD UI on. Uh, and yeah, I'm not seeing any ore here. I'm pretty damn sure that we're uh, right near the ground. And of course, oh, there, we have one right now. We finally got our altimeter thing back. And we're at 12 meters off the ground, so if there was ore here, we should have definitely been able to see it. Uh, let's do our control, and the altimeter's gone, because frack logic. Um, let's also go ahead and look at... Yeah, show altitude. No, it's not working. So clearly, even though we can toggle that on and off, it's not working. We're in control of it, obviously, because we're controlling the ship. And we were in camera earlier with that on, and it wasn't showing, so... Brilliant. Um, okay, let's also go ahead, just because we got more clutter on our screen. Uh, we don't need any of these anymore, because these were back on the planet. That was our sneaky tunnel. Sterilets will leave on, because it's our one return point. Frack me! And suddenly we got nickel, cobalt, and iron. We're going to mark this here. Moon from new current position. Moon, nickel, uh, cobalt, iron. I need to learn their uh, proper little abbreviations because it'll save us a lot of time typing that out. So we found those three. That's at least good. And apparently this height is all right. Looks like, um, yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? The height, the distance on scanning doesn't make much sense because we're able to get like roughly to 80 there. Very, very odd. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep buzzing along the lunar surface. And I know the uh, scanners do only tick every now and again, but maybe we'll get lucky enough here and it'll at least tick when we're near something. Uh, I didn't see any dark area near those either. It's just sort of the very confusing lunar surface here with a shocking amount of ice. Real moon, as far as I know, doesn't really have any ice on it. Oh my god, let's go over the hill, not crash. Cool. Uh, not getting anything else pinging, unfortunately. Probably a little too high right now, actually. I wonder if crate. I wonder if there's any logic to this. Like, do the centers of craters have more stuff in them? God, this ship is difficult to maneuver. I should have put more thrusters on it. We're only at, like, 4% power usage. I could have just ramped it up to no end, but I was... I'm so scared about using resources, and for some reason I just thought I'd get lucky and we'd find something in like two seconds. Obviously that was a uh, fallacy. I wish I knew our altitude. Let's actually disconnect from the ship just to, yeah, 100 meters. Bloody hell, this has uh, been a glitch actually for a couple months now. The fact that you can't see your altimeter while you're actually in the uh, control of the drone. Yikes, you doodle danny, that's a bit silly, ain't it? Well, let's go on and just keep exploring for a while. We have ourselves a ton of oxygen and all that, so we should be fine.
Well, I've started slowly circling my way back towards the base, sort of almost making a perimeter around our landing zone, but uh, no such luck on finding anything yet. Found a little bit more nickel, but that was about it. I didn't even bother to mark it. So we're going to go suit flying pretty high up and just see if we can't see any darker splotches or anything that looks different that might indicate uh, materials. You can see over the hills, you could see our ship there as these hills load in and out. Very hard to see, actually, in all this debris. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing any really easily recognizable dark splotches. Everything just looks like a pretty bumpy, confusing hill with dark stuff everywhere. So that's not ideal. Also, we've almost escaped the gravity of this uh, lovely little moon. So we're going to turn around and use the four thrusters to try to slow us up because we are drifting a bit more than we'd like. We still have tons of hours of power left. Uh, as for oxygen, we have run down to... Where is it? 73% uh, oxygen on us and only 15 in the thing. So we're going to go back to base. Uh, if we're going to do anything, I think it's currently just going to be to upgrade... God almighty, I really don't know. I guess the smart thing is just to get... Shit, man, we're so low on resources. So low on resources here. I guess we're going to fire up the, the hydrogen thrusters and see if we can just hover the ship about. And we can use the silicone that we did find near the, near the sterilith just to see what our actual scanning range is. Because clearly it's not 150, but if it's not too much higher, it's going to be pointless for us to fly the big ship around. We need it to actually be, you know, something like 500. Agreeably, it should be around 2,000. Well, maybe not 2,000, but at least, I don't know, a couple hundred. <sighs> maybe a 1,000 would be reasonable. Yeah, a 1,000 would be reasonable, especially on a ship this large. We really do need some sort of upgradability, I would think. Okay, well, we're coming in at a bit of a speed, aren't we? We're probably going to lose this ship right now. Oh, sugar lumps. <laughs> Fucking shiza! Uh, the screen's frozen. Okay, the screen's not frozen. <laughs> How the hell are we alive? Do we still have a front thruster on us, too? I'm not going to question it right now. I'm not going to question it right now. I'm just glad we survived. That's all I'm going to say. We still have our ore detectors. We still have all of our thrusters from the looks of it. How are we going forward? I don't see a thruster pointing backwards. Have we been missing that the whole time? No, we must have lost that. Also, I still don't know why Second Sage is showing up red. As we check our factions, um, Second Sage is clearly here, so that's just another wonderful little glitch. Yikes, you landy. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, dock ourselves up, turn back on the antennas on the main ship. Um, in fact, I'm actually quite tempted to just grind this little thing down, but we're going to dock it for the time being, disable its inertial dampeners. Uh, and then we're just going to do a quick buzz about. If nothing else, we're going to reposition the flying virus in a spot where it'll actually be able to gather up uh, some power from the sun. Because, of course, right now, even though the sun, well, glitches out at the corners of our screen every now and again, like right there on the left side of the screen, you see it looks like it's about to peek over. But even though it looks like it's cut, getting along here, it's still, I think, a little while's off before we could actually see some uh, sunlight. Yeah. I think we'd still, we're still a bit off. Oh god, I forgot we don't have a forward thruster. This is going to take a little bit of time to land, rather unfortunately, uh, but not too, too much, as we do have most of our thrusters, so we just somehow lost our forward thrust. Uh, bring you over here. Gently let you go downwards a bit. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Can I not? There. Okay, cool, it locked there. Awesome. Uh, let's actually go ahead and select the remote control one more time. Control U. Disable our inertial dampeners. Cool. So now this ship shouldn't do any silly thruster stuff. Uh, once again, we did lose one thruster, but that was minimal. If we go flying about again in this ship, we're going to upgrade it quite a bit. Uh, as for anything else, let's go ahead and head into the control room here. Sudden amount of sound. Open this up. Apparently, this little two-block thing does get vented, which is amazing, because uh, originally they had issues where these weren't filling with oxygen, which I thought was intentional, because that way you could use them with an air vent system without um, well, having to use a big vent or something stupid like that. And let's be honest, their blocks are way too big for anything really, really interesting, like using a vent to vent room before opening doors. Uh, let's go ahead. Antenna. Uh, I think we shut off a lot of these, but we're going to turn them back on. 
Yeah, that should be all of these antennas back online. Coolio, including, yeah, Flying Virus one. Awesome. We can see the silicon again. Cool. We're going to select ore detector just to make sure it's on. It should be on, but uh, let's just double check it. Yep, it's on. 150 stupid meters for some reason. It's clearly a percentage of this, by the way. Um, Coolio. And let's go ahead and uh, see if we can take off here with just our small maneuvering thrusters. Do we have... Yeah, we got... Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Those little dinky ones at the bottom like... Yeah, it's not happening. Okay, let's kill those. Let's turn on our big maneuvers and our liftoffs and get ourselves in the air. So we're at... What the hell? Did you see that? Oh my god, well, that seems like I'm cheating, doesn't it? When it's that instantaneous. Did you see that? That was... <laughs> Some real serious oddity, but uh, positive oddity. There's the silicon. And where is it? I saw it there for a second. It just magically appeared in the magnesium. Uh huh. And where is it? I saw it there. Don't lie to me and say it wasn't there because I saw it. Uranium. There it is, right there. Uranium. Well, um. Yeah, there you go. We found uranium. It was right next to us. You know, honestly, I think with the ore detector at 50 meters, it might not even have been able... How far underground is that uranium? Because I wonder if it was so far underground, we wouldn't have even been able to see it with the small ship, even if we were skimming the surface. What's the point? Of, I guess the idea is that you'd be using a large ship to scan for ore, but it means you have to fly something fairly large around a planet just to be looking for ore and then bring in a small ship with its own little dinky ore detector just to do some very minor hey I, i'm just using this ore detector here to tell that there is still ore left to mine i'm guessing i don't know anyway let's go ahead shut those off all those off all of them off i keep turning them on and off there we go um and we found uranium yay great success stupid little venting rooms i hate them so I thought I closed that. Right. Okay. That's um. Not ideal. That's not ideal one bit. Righty ho ho. Sage is a little bit out of it right now, unfortunately. Let's go ahead, grab ourselves some bottles. Uh, under actually, let's do tank nine. So that worked on that guy. And let's see. Unfortunately, the ice for the other generator doesn't seem like it's gone ahead and replaced that with the tanks we wanted. Um, let's do a control panel here. Tank 9, uh, you, I wanted you to have, maybe if we type oxygen, oxygen tank, and close brackets, maybe now it'll get smart and figure it out, I don't know. Looks like the system wasn't quite as smart as I had hoped. Uh, as for tanks, we actually didn't actually grab any. We're going to grab one more of you, drop you back off in there. Uh, oxygen. Oh my god. That must be why. They're called bottles. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Anyway, we're going to drop a few of these off. We're going to go back to our control panel. We're going to do tank 9. Because I thought they were called oxygen tank. But I wonder if I just put the word bottle in here. In fact, I suspect that person that went ahead and told me how to do this actually told me it was bottle for this. I just didn't remember the exact details. So now I'm suspecting this will update. We'll probably see it first at the top right if it does work. If it doesn't work well, then it doesn't work. Did I type it incorrectly? B-O-T-T-L-E, bottle. Tank nine. Nope, that's still not working. Well, who knows? Uh, we'll just leave that be as for, well, we'll just leave that be as for now. My ears are going deaf, by the way. I usually turn down the sound quite a bit in post or tweak it up sometimes if I'm talking about it, but Jesus Christ, was that loud. As for the uranium, let's see how far underground it actually was. It was, yeah, it was relatively far underground. We would have had to get to about right here, which I could have sworn we flew this height over stuff, but I guess not. It's a little real hard to tell your, uh, height off the ground sometimes. 
Especially without an altimeter thingamajiggity working. Let's go ahead and just start mining down to our uranium. Uh, I'm half tempted to go ahead and make ourselves a large mining ship thing that would spin about. But I think for the time being, we're going to have to conserve our resources and just get another small miner running. That way we can grab up some of this stuff. People have also asked for a moon rover. We might get one of those, but uh, not right away. And I'm just getting down here so we can actually grab some by hand and I just know mining uranium by hand will actually give you enough to power up a vehicle or two and considering we're pretty low less than one ingot per uh, reactor usually probably a good idea to grab some up and at least get those reactors a bit more fueled up especially since we're still sitting in the shade because we didn't actually maneuver ourselves too much Jesus Christ this takes an age let's turn on our jetpack so we don't have to do this fall thing and then promptly get this oriented that's a magnesium where's the uranium right there Got you. Go ahead and grab this stuff. Well, that was odd. Did you see that? Okay. Well, there we go. Uranium. And I'm pressing and holding uh, left mouse and F and gra gathering it up. Unfortunately, their uh, super duper sound system doesn't seem to be too happy with us, as it's currently not apparently making any sound as we mine. Let's just do a quick test on that, shall we? To see if we were to crank this way up. Okay. Yeah, it is making sound. Listen. But of course, if we were then to go back up to the surface, and we do have a full inventory, so we have to do that anyway. Boy, we went in a zigzaggy fashion there. And stand on this, I suspect this is going to be insanely deafening. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Yep, yep, that's pretty damn loud. That's definitely not working good at all. Righty ho ho. Back to uh, next to no sound. That sounds more like it. Alrighty, let's go ahead, drop off that uranium, and see if we actually get some function out of that. Uh, we'll drop everything off, honestly. There's a lot of stuff we don't need here. Yeah, we got nearly a thousand uranium. Bit of stone, kind of worthless, but whatever. Uh, drop off all this stuff. Coolio. All this. Coolio. And this should automatically get sorted. We'll give this a few seconds to see if this gets sorted. If this doesn't, that means our Tim system has shut itself off for some reason, and we'll have to reboot it. Oh, no, but it did get pulled, so let's search the word bottle. And why is everything moving? Stop moving. I mean, I guess it's just settling a little bit, but well, the tiny little bit of extra weight suddenly made you move. That's on the ground. That's on the ground in a corner. You are. Actually, also on the ground. So we're on the ground everywhere. Maybe it was just settling a little tiny, tiny little bit. But everything should be touching. Alright, well, we know where it is. We know where the uranium is now. Right? It's around here. We dug a hole. So we're going to do uh, number four. Press R. I just got rid of all my steel plates. As I was saying, let's just place a few of these down right here to mark the spot. And we're going to move the ship and just land it in a flat spot right over there. Still, I don't think it'll be in sunlight, even though the lighting likes to glitch out as we turn our head. But uh, at least the ship should uh, not be on such unlevel terrain. Even though it should be relatively stable, I think. Uh, let's not risk it, eh? Let's not risk it. Close you. Open you. Get thrown around because that system's so stupid. Hop into here, turn on, screw it, all three of these. Take off, probably annihilate the marker we just put down. Okay, good, we didn't. Good. Uh, let's see which way's forward. That way's forward. Level ourselves out a little bit here. There we go. And fly ourselves over and land ourselves in this crater. Safe and sound without issue or flaw. Right, everything is going to go perfectly fine. And hey, we get a tiny little, tiniest little dab of sunlight maybe while we're up here. N not really. No, not really. Alrighty, landing ourselves, and then we should be good. And then we'll have uranium, and then we'll be able to start mining up ice, which means our fuel troubles will be a thing of the past. Landing ourselves right here, safe and sound. And suddenly we can see stuff that's all the way to 300 meters away without any issue at all, which means if the... See, is this distance from my camera? It's distance from my camera. Okay, that's something I should have figured out in the past. 
which is kind of unreliable, isn't it? It should be distance from your actual character, not just your camera unless you're in spectator mode. Also, why did it put us in first person? Also, why don't we... Uh, where's our ultimate... Okay, we're still at 60-something meters. Oh, right, it's 60-something from the cockpit. That's all right. There we go. So we're on the ground. Should be much safer now. Cool. Let's get into here. Close you. Okay, vent ourselves. Brilliant. And go mining some more. Alrighty, and there we go. I did another mining trip, and we're all the way up to 3.9 whatever uranium ingots in each of our reactors. So we can actually go ahead. Oh, uh, react. What? Okay, let's do that. Back to here. React. There we go. Now they're showing up. And let's just make sure that all these are turned on again. Some of these are still not showing in the shop, in the block config stuff. There we go. Turn you on. Uh, and toolbar config. Why are these off in toolbar config? I mean, I guess it's not really important because it's for toolbars, but meh, whatever. Doesn't matter. We can turn all these back on now, and it should mean it'll be sorted equally throughout those. Uh, uranium ingot. Yeah, and look at that. We still have like four <laughs> sorted throughout them, so that'll help with our power situation too. In fact, we could probably check our batteries. And I bet you our batteries are now back to fully recharged. Yeah, so they're actually draining power now. Alrighty then. Coolio. Alrighty, well in our next episode we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a proper mining ship up and running. Shame you can't uh, place a landing gear block as your starting block and it'll actually stick to something anymore. Bit of a faff. But nonetheless, uh, we have our start right here. Um, yeah, we'll hover it up and land it on something and get to work. That will be using the uh, flying sausage anymore. Well, oh, how much? We have enough uranium. Next episode, we're going to refit their flying sausage to function out here, and then we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a miner. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you a bunch for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta.